What's up guys, welcome to another video. We're going to be doing a battery drain test for entire iPhone 15 lineup, which include iPhone 15 Pro Max, the 15 Pro, the 15 Plus, and the standard 15. But before we get started, True Tone, Night Shift, and Auto Brightness are disabled on all four of these devices. We are going to be leaving the 120Hz display refresh rate capability turned on both the 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max, because most people are using their phone in same settings. Battery health is 100% on all devices, and they're also all running the same version of iOS 17.0.3. I set the brightness on all four of these devices as close to the same as I could get, and the volume is turned all the way down on all of them. They're also all connected to the very same Wi-Fi network, and all the devices are charged 100%. We're going to kick things off with one hour of YouTube video streaming. So we're going to be streaming the very same video at 1080p quality full screen on all four of these devices for one hour. And checking in after a full hour of YouTube at video streaming, as you can see, all devices are at 99% which is amazing after the new iOS 17.0.3 update. Next up, we're going to head on over to Safari for one hour of web browsing. Now in the first 30 minutes, we're going to be loading new web pages and scrolling through web pages on apple.com. And for the second 30 minutes, we're going to be loading new web pages and scrolling through web pages on theverge.com. Keep in mind that what we're doing in this video is a very controlled stress test where we're just using these devices in the very same location continuously until they die. In the real world, there's a ton of factors that we're not testing for in this video. Now checking in after an hour of web browsing. As you can see, the overall same trends are continuing. Next up, we're going to head on over to TikTok for one hour of scrolling through posts. And checking in after a full hour of TikTok, here we have 15 and 15 Pro are on 82% and 81% battery health, while 15 Plus is 86%, while 15 Pro Max is at 84%. So same trends continue. Next up, we're going to head on over to Instagram for one hour. For the first 10 minutes, we're going to be looking through stories, and for the remainder of the hour, we'll be scrolling through posts. And checking in after a full hour of Instagram, as you can see here, the 15 Pro Max lost 8%, while 15 Plus lost only 6%, which almost same. Next up, we're going to move on to one hour of playing PUBG, and once again for PUBG, the graphics and frame rate settings are set to the same on all four of these devices. And checking in after an hour of playing PUBG, the 15 is at 64%, the iPhone 15 Plus is at 70%, while 15 Pro is at 62%, and the 15 Pro Max is at 67%. Surprising as this is the first graphic intensive task that has been performed, and this iPhone 15 Pro Max shows massive battery drain of 11%. Next, we're going to move on to one hour of playing Asphalt 9, which is also a graphic intensive game. Guys know the render distance setting for Asphalt 9 is set to the exact same for all four devices. Let's see how iPhone 15 series goes in this game. After a full hour of playing Asphalt 9, well here is an interesting thing happen. The 15 15 Plus and 15 Pro has drained 19% of battery, while surprisingly for 15 Pro Max it only lost 16% battery, which is great. Next we use camera to record 1 hour of HD video recording. I know not everyone use camera app on daily basis, but for the sake of this test I really wanted to see how these devices really perform in stress situation. After 1 hour of video recording the iPhone 15 has 18% battery in 1 hour, while 32% for 15 Plus iPhone 15 Pro 21% and iPhone 15 Pro Max is performing great and has 34% battery remaining. Alright, with the first round and the battery test complete and all four devices holding up great, 
We're gonna head back to YouTube for our second scheduled hour of video streaming. We're going to stream the very same video, once again full screen at 1080p quality for another hour. And checking in after that, the 15 is at 11%, the 15 Plus is at 27%, and the 15 Pro is at 14%, while 15 Pro Max is at 29%. Next up, we're going to head on over to Safari for our second hour of web browsing. Now in the first 30 minutes, we're going to be loading new web pages and scrolling through web pages on apple.com. And for the second 30 minutes, we're going to be loading new web pages and scrolling through web pages on theverge.com. Now at the end, two minutes of web browsing our first phone died, which is base iPhone 15. After one hour, iPhone 15 Plus is at 16%, 15 Pro 4%, and 15 Pro Max is at 21%. Next up, we're going to head back so the TikTok for our second scheduled hour of scrolling through. Now in halfway of test, our second phone dies, which is iPhone 15 Pro. After one hour of TikTok, the iPhone 15 Plus has 9% remains battery, while 15 Pro Max has 15%. Next, we're going to head back to Instagram for our second scheduled hour, once again, for the first 10 minutes, we'll be looking for stories, and for the remainder of the hour, we'll be scrolling through posts. The 15 Plus just died two minutes before one hour completion. Checking in after one hour, at the end we have iPhone 15 Pro Max which has 7% still remaining. We only have one device left, so we are fast forwarding the test and meet you guys at the end. At the end of the day, in the first phone which has died is iPhone 15 which lasted 8 hours and 58 minutes, which is good battery life considering it has SAML battery and old processor. Next phone which died is iPhone 15 Pro and it lasted 9 hours and 31 minutes, which makes surprised as this device has newly 17 Pro chip, which is supposed to last longer. Third in the list is iPhone 15 Plus which lasted 10 hours and 58 minutes, which is a great battery life. Finally, the winner of the show is iPhone 15 Pro Max, which lasted 11 hours and 31 minutes, which is great battery life, since this new update has done its magic as it lasted more than previous battery drain test. Let me know down below in the comments section how the battery performance has been for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.